Grade here with another T-150 replay. Today it's on Pearl River. I'm actually in a platoon with uh, two members of my multi-game guild, uh, Old Timers Guild, and uh, Buzz, I believe, is the one that's in his M4A1. Yep, and Jared is in his VK-3601. Uh, pretty good matchup for the T-150. It's uh, a, a tier 6 game, so it's top tier. And uh, as always with heavies on this map, I go to the AB89 area. Uh, I really feel that heavies need to hold this area or push this area coming in from the south. And I always, out of force of habit, come up to this, uh, this upper path here. That's because it's a good shadow from arty however there's no arty in this round and like i said force of habit but i've shown a couple of replays from the other side where i was on a uh, matilda and i pushed and this is why i pushed um you see that they have a good view those five enemies have a good view down the line except for where I am. I'm able to really control how many guns are pointed at me at any given time. And there's one bounce from that uh, 3001 and I bounce off of him. I'm not sure how, but I was just throwing a shot out there. Here I'm just aiming in on that T-82 and I hit the rock. So I was saying, I can really control the number of guns that are on me at any given time. Right now, there's there's only two possible that can that can come out at me, and both of them really can't do a lot to me. Enemy vehicle destroyed. And there goes that VK thirty oh one. And we've got good eyes on them, and I come around this corner. Trying to put one in that KV-2, but uh, I dogged the shot, hit the building behind him. Well, they seem content there. Unfortunately, we're losing eyes on them, and uh, Jared in his 3601 can't really stand up to that fire, so I figured, if anything, I can run up there and get some uh, uh, proximity spots. Surprise! T-150! Sorry I'm letting my team just work their magic. There, I finally get that uh, KV-2 shot that I wanted. Unfortunately, his shot uh, takes out my tracks. And uh, Buzz gives uh, Jared a little nudge there. Oh, no, the other way around. Jared gave Buzz the nudge. Now that we've got this cleared out, we push up to the enemy flag. Uh, not a lot out there that can give us troubles. Maybe that Dicker Max. The two T-34s can put a lot of hurt out onto us. Uh, and they are on that ridge around the H7 area, which means they do have eyes on their spawn. Jared and Buzz get into the into the circle and Slowpoke Me is rushing to get in there as best I can. Except I always hit that rock in there. I never see it. And so it takes me a little bit to get maneuvered around here. Now here we've got that T-34 and instead of popping off a shot, as soon as I saw him, I waited until my reticule was as small as possible and let him run into the target. And I finally get into the circle. I saw the tree drop up there. I'm not sure what is up there or where. So I angle a bit. Hopefully I can uh, bounce the shot, but I can't. Fortunately, the AMX went for the person who just got into the circle, so... Uh, Buzz and Jared are able to secure the cap. Uh, as with my previous replays, I do not have the uh, final stats for this. Again, this is before I thought about commenting on these. Um, 
but I was right around 1100 experience for this and I, uh, right around 2700 damage. I think 600 was not recorded uh, on point fire. I may be wrong on that, but uh, I do believe from the stats that I saw on the replay upload, it was around 2700, but I could be wrong. Anyway, that was a T-150 on Pearl River. Hope you enjoyed the replay, and have fun.